Go show us the world, buddy. All right, everybody, welcome back. Today, we are going to be strapping a GoPro on a fish. This is take three of me trying to make this video, but let's see if we can catch a fish and strap a GoPro on them. Goal today is a fish in the teens that can handle the GoPro. We have mackerel and carp for bait. For the most part, we're gonna be blasting these as far as we can get them. Almost feel like I'm shark fishing back home. Ah, okay. Oh, we just got that in. We got him. Wow, that took seconds, guys. That took less than a minute. <laughs> God, we were out there a ways too. Oh, he's nothing serious. Thought he might be a little bigger, but no. Nah. He is not gonna be enough to put on the camera though, guys. We're gonna need something a bit bigger than that. Well, first fish, didn't take long at all. Let's get some more bait right back out there. Good thing I brought double mackerel today. Okay, no complaints on that one. Ooh. Show you guys the rig we're gonna be using. All right, this is our GoPro. We got this Hero Session, I believe that's what it is. And then we have a strap here, Velcro, and then this is gonna clip on top. And the fish is basically just gonna swim around and show us what's going on down there. I have seen this done a few times before. The first person I ever saw do it was Pig Patrol TV, so shout out to him. All we need is a good enough fish now. Yes, that's a better one. That's a better one. This current makes them feel a lot bigger too. This is a pretty cool spot. Better fish, nothing crazy, but bigger than the first one, that's for sure. We're letting this guy go. Thanks for playing. Send your big brother. Oh, there goes the call rack. Come on, baby, all the way over, all the way over. He might be there. Oh my God. This one is for sure, y'all. Got him. I got this one. <laughs> Good Lord, man. This one is not very big, I don't think. This will be number three. We now have to rebate all the rods. <laughs> Yeah, I think he is. About the same size as the last one. But hey, the bites are coming. It seems like as the day goes on, they bite more and more. Let's get back in the water. That was a flurry of action there. We got him. We got him. That feels better. Out of me. It's got the rod bent in half. Oh yeah. I feel those head shakes. Did we finally get a good one, guys? Or does he just feel big? Let's go, baby. Come on. Do we have our candidate. He burned that bait. Wow. He's got to at least be big enough for the underwater camera. <sighs> Let's go. This is definitely a good one. I don't know how good, but it is uh, much bigger than the fish that we have been catching. Yeah, he's a good one. I think this will be perfect size for the, uh, the GoPro. Sweet, guys. Oh yeah, that's perfect size. Nice and fat. He's gonna help me in the tournament also. Ah, there we go. Probably in the range of 14, 15 pounds. Let's do this. 
We are rolling. Let's get it. And yeah, get it past his pectorals. Oh my god. Look at that, guys. Woo! Let's get it clipped onto our camera. Get this so we don't lose our GoPro. Hopefully, we get this back, guys. <laughs> Let's see what this guy can show us down there. Coach him back to life, I guess you could say. He's going. He's going. Go show us the world, buddy. This video came out okay. The water clarity was decent down there. I'd probably give it like a six out of 10. All right. Well, immediately he is going, he's going out there. I think there were some fish swimming around on the bottom. I'm gonna need your guys' help to identify them if you do see them. Um, there were some things that I thought were fish, like you'll see coming up here. Due to my past research uh, with underwater fishing, it seems that if when catfish get within uh, a few feet of bait fish or any other fish, the fish seem to scatter and swim away. So I think maybe this was happening also. I'll show some clips right here of what I mean. But yeah, I think that's also why we didn't see too much down here. But as you can see, it's pretty sandy. It stays sandy pretty much the entire time out there. I thought there was some pilings, but I guess not. I did not see any pilings out there. You can see here, we're getting into some deeper water. Fish is kind of bumping into the bottom there. I think at some point the camera flips over and it's on like his stomach. So we run into the ground a few times. As you guys can see, he is down there doing his thing. We've been very, very delicate with this fish. Just so you guys are aware, some of you are gonna hate me for this. Some of you are gonna love me, um, but I'm being very, very careful with this fish. I'm making sure to bring him in nice and slowly. And I'm gonna make sure he has plenty of energy to kick off when we let him go. All right, I just realized a major design flaw in my GoPro. So we're gonna bring this guy back in very carefully. Come on back. Come on back. Design flaw that I'll tell you guys about. If that Velcro were to come undone. Oh, that's not coming undone. Though. We'll send him back out. He wants to go. After my design flaw issue, I let him back go. You can see a little bit more through this one. The fish did stay a little shallower this time. But once again, if you guys see any fish, let me know in the description. I tried changing the color settings and stuff, uh, but I still couldn't really make out a distinct fish. Not really much contour to the bottom here, so <laughs> it's mainly just sand and some scattered rocks. Going straight for that tree. I was very careful to bring the fish in nice and gentle. Did not want to cause any harm. All right, guys, we are almost spooled. So we are going to lock up and bring this fish back to home. Hopefully we get him back. 
and then we will take this GoPro off of him and let him go. We're not gonna be keeping any of these fish. He's not out there too, too far, it doesn't look like. Made sure to get a tough one, guys. Bite me a little. Right. Off of him. We're going to make sure he kicks off okay here. Oh. He was more than ready. All right. Yes, we did it. We did it, guys. Oh. Oh, wow. You guys don't know how many hours I have put in to make that video. He kicked off right after that. He's gonna be just fine. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.